Ian, it must have felt like a long week this week with the game coming up on Monday rather than Saturday. How has it been up at Lostock? It's been good. Um, obviously, we're disappointed with, with Saturday's result um, and parts of the performance, but I thought we we did really well on Tuesday to come back from from a goal down at half time and play the way we did second half was really pleasing. Uh, and that's built confidence and momentum again going into Monday night. Yeah, has there been a, a better mood up at Lossock in sort of the second half of the week after what was a pretty good win on Tuesday night against Port Vale? Um, yeah, as I said, the players are full of confidence anyway. This is a, a very close knit group. Um, we're all we're all in this together, um, and we know what we're capable of. And you know, as I said we're disappointed with Saturday, but that's gone now. You know, we got a good result on Tuesday, and now we're going into a game against the good Burton team and, and making sure we try and get the right result again. When you reflect on Tuesday night's result and Tuesday night's performance, what was it that, that pleased you the most about it? Um, the character again was excellent. Um, as I said, I thought we started the game really well and then came off it and ended up finding ourselves behind at half time. The second half we upped it, upped our tempo, and I thought the second and third goals were really well worked, good team goals. Uh, and we managed the game out comfortably. So we know there's more in the tank, we know there's more to come. Um, it's just about now staying grounded, staying humble, keep working hard and, and trying to improve for Monday night. Now, I'd imagine Tuesday was a really long day for you personally. Obviously, the game in the evening, it, it was transfer deadline day as well. Yeah. Can you just give us a little insight into, into what that day was like from your perspective? Yeah, it was a long day, but it's just part of being a manager. You have to always expect the unexpected, so to speak. And I think we, we did our very best to strengthen the squad. Um, but that didn't work out. And as I said before, we're certainly not going to make rash decisions and and panic by, this isn't what we are anymore, we're strategic and we do things correctly. So hopefully, as I said, we'll, we're happy with what we've got, we'll get players back fit as soon as possible and then we'll make sure we're in touch for January when the window reopens. Yeah, you must feel like you've already got a strong squad, a, a, a squad capable of competing in this yeah, league. I think that's important that we, we mustn't forget, because we signed a lot of players early on in the window, that just because we didn't sign anyone at the end it doesn't mean to say we've not had a good transfer window. I think we've had an excellent transfer window and we've really strengthened the group of players we've got. Burton Albion, the opponents on Monday, of course, they, they finished the season really well last season under Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. They've started the season well this time around. What sort of challenges are you expecting? Difficult, I think, since Jimmy's got the job. He's done, a, he's done fantastic and he's, um, they've got a very good record under him. Um, but, as I said, it's about more what we do and how we play. Um, we have to attack the game as we always do and make sure we perform to our levels and standards. And if we do we'll have more than a good chance to win the game. I know it's a bit of a cliche, but a chance to impress the larger TV audience and, and show them what we're all about. Yeah, absolutely. Look, uh, Sky's always you know, that added, added bit of responsibility and a bit of spice to the game. And Obviously, we want to give a good account of ourselves to the, the wider public and make sure we play you know, to our standards and our levels. Looking at the injury situation, what's the latest on the lads that have missed out recently? And, and Kieran Lee as well, how's he doing? Kieran's back fit, he's trained fine today. Um, Declan will be missing with an illness, but other than that, you know, everyone's fit and available to go other than the, the longer term ones, Bakayoko and Amici. How are they getting on, those lads that are longer term? Good, Bakayoko's out the boot now. Um, he's progressing week on week, and we'll hope feel that by the end of September he'll be back with us. And Zav's doing well as well. You know, he's really focusing himself on his rehabilitation. Um, physios are working extremely hard with him and as I said, hopefully he'll be back sooner rather than later too.